What up world, welcome back to EO Reviews, the channel for the movie heads and the music junkies where I keep you up to date on what's popping in these streets. Make sure you hit the subscribe button, turn on your notifications because I will be doing at least two movie or music reviews every single week. Throw y'all ready, let's get it. What it do man, y'all know why we here man to check out the new one from the one and only Mariah the Scientist. His album is called Rye Rye World, if that's how it's pronounced. I don't have no idea, idea what that means, so if you know why she titled this album that, please let me know in the comments. But if you don't know who she is, Mariah the Sciences is 27 years old. She's from Atlanta and she's signed to, I think, RCA Records, but also some kind of way she's also signed to Tory Lane's Umbrella Records. Um, I ain't never heard her music, but I've been hearing her name for about a year, like just by just scrolling on Instagram or in conversations I've been hearing. So I'm like, okay, let's give her a chance. You know what I'm saying? See what she got. The cover art is crazy to, to me because it's basically like she got an arrow through her heart but she got a smile on her face. You feel me? So I really don't know what to expect, so let's get into it. The first song is called Impalas and Air Force Ones. Okay, when that song first came on, it was giving me a little bit like scissor vibes, but it's kind of too short for me to kind of gauge her personality just yet. Let's check out the next track, Aura, which according to her Instagram page, she just dropped a video for this, this song, but I ain't seen the video, so let's just check out the song. Honestly, I like the production on that. I, don't, I like that beat, it was straight. And I kind of like that hook. It had an old school kind of richness to it, kind of an old school hook type feel. Um, it sounded like on that song, she's just trying to convince somebody that she's, she admires or whatever. Um, it's a solid cut. I ain't mad at that one. Track three is entitled Walked In featuring Young Thug. Um, it's basically the story of a random attraction, solid production. Um, but so far, I'm not really getting a sense of who she is just yet. We only is track three of this 10 song project um but i ain't mad at that song but i just want to delve deeper into her personality if you've been following this channel for a while you know this how i am with a lot of r&b singers like what do you be thinking outside of love relationship we'll see if she talk about it. track four is the title rrp um it sounds like she's chasing someone who is kind of pulling away from her she says she feels invisible with the direction of all these songs i can kind of see why she got the arrow through her chest on the cover art I think that's gonna be the theme with this project so far. Track five is entitled To You. Let's check it out. Well, maybe you hoped I wouldn't notice. Disappointed is the least I feel ashamed. Don't know what I don't do. Maybe it's whenever I walk into your face. Whatever it is, I know. Okay, that sounds like pretty much more relationship drama. Um, in my opinion, the exact same subject matter I would hear on the Her Project. Y'all can go check out my Her review I did like two weeks ago. Um, that production is interesting, you feel me, with that bouncing sound like that. I, I don't know if I really like it. I don't know if I love it or I hate it. It's, I would say it's interesting. Um, but that hook is solid though. I, I, that hook actually kind of brings that song together. So. It's a track six is entitled Brain. I thought they had a cool vibe. She's talking about being confused, talking about going crazy, uh, of course, over a dude. Um, actually, that was a cool track that I felt like should have been a, a little bit longer. Track seven is entitled Maybe. Let's check it out. Okay. 
Okay, I ain't mad at that. I like the line where she said, it's a tragedy, one day the world will end. We can't always pretend. Um, I like that sense of urgency because I believe in Carpe DM sees the day. Go as hard as you can every single day. Don't hold back. In my opinion, that's probably the best track on here so far. I think that's a standout cut and it might it might do some numbers for her. Track eight is entitled Always and Forever, featuring a little baby. She had a line on there that said, uh, she can't get away from you. Broken hearts are made for two. Basically like another love song, speaking on her loyalty. Um, little baby skated on the track as always. And honestly, I think that's another standout cut and I think it would be dope if they did a music video for that one. Um, I wouldn't mind to see them together on screen doing their thing. That's a decent track. Track nine is entitled All For Me. I kind of like the echoey, airy vocal effects. Uh, she's talking about giving somebody another chance. She's talking about being frustrated. She's talking about being lonely. Uh, pretty much matching the same theme of the rest of the songs on this project. And the final track on this project is called Revenge, track 10. Okay, uh, on that track she says she want revenge, um, but she don't really go about telling like how she gonna get it. I don't know the exact direction of that song. Um, it seemed like it just didn't come together all the way as a concept. Like what is the exact concept of this song? Let me know in the comments, man, because I couldn't make out exactly what that song is about. But that's it, 10 tracks. Um, I think our strongest tracks on this project are Always and Forever and Maybe. Um, but the theme of course, of course is Heartbreak. Um, I don't know, man. With her name being Mariah the Scientist, man, I thought it was going to be something different. I thought she was going to experiment. You feel me? I didn't know if she's going to come with more uh, just weird subject matters. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just expected a lot more from this project. You feel me? Uh, there was no up-tempo tracks on here. Um, if she was going to go the route of just uh, singing love songs, um, it would have been dope. Because usually on these projects, they have like at least one ballad with the singer singing and the vocals with just one instrument, maybe just her and the piano or her and the guitar if she really wants to show off her vocal range or she could have did a cappella. Um, it's just nothing on here that I feel like made her stand out as an artist. Like she got a lot of competition out there and um, I don't know, I don't think she's bringing that much new to the table. As far as her vocals, I think she can sing, but I want to hear more of it. You know what I'm saying? I want to hear more of the pain, if she sees her lyrics are painful, but I don't know if I hear that pain in the vocals, if that makes sense. Um, I just feel like it need a little bit more passion. She's doing her thing, you feel me? Like somebody probably love this, but I'm gonna give it a 2.5 out of five. That's how I feel about it. Uh, but yeah, that's it for my reaction review. Shout out to Mariah the Scientist. Um, I'm gonna be looking forward to her next effort. I ain't gonna write her off. And yeah, let me know in the comments why she called this Ride Ride World, cause I don't know what that mean. But yeah. That's it for this review. Until next time, y'all treat each other right, please. It's a cold world. I'm just trying to heat it up. This has been Ill Reviews. I'm out. Prices. I talk like a hustler. They say my grind righteous. Still on my shit. Real as a kid. You can admit. You feeling this shit. I'm feeling myself. Looking for tweet. No sugar around. Nothing is sweet. Trying to be calm. But ready to bomb. Hope y'all on board. Cause I am beyond. Mind in my line. Word like a rhyme. Can't be defined. The flow is refined. Like crude oil from an oil rig. No moose for I'm a tall pig. I put in that work. Look at the